on your comments regarding jobs, which I think is uh, uh, absolutely um, uh, spot on. Uh, the biggest challenge that we face as, you know, as, as, as policymakers is how do you put in place um, proper uh, you know, skills-based retraining programs that are actually appealing, and how do you explain to people where the jobs will be, uh, not in the distant future, but in the near future? And how do we also explain to people that you know, a traditional university degree from a Greek public university may not necessarily be the way to earn a good living? Um, we're currently tabling a piece of legislation where we are completely rethinking uh, our technical education. You know, um, uh, maybe plumbers or, or electricians may not be outsourced to robots before other um, 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 uh, uh, jobs are. And we face in Greece a big shortage of technically skilled people. And, and you know, sometimes we're also talking about jobs which may come from the past. Traditional craftsmanship is making a resurgence because there's more demand um, uh, for it. Yet I don't see much uh, interest in many you know, areas in, in Greece for these types of jobs, which actually could be very well, um, uh, very good paying jobs and also help um, regional development. So thinking you know, 5, 10, 15 years ahead and making sure you make the changes now in your educational system uh, is a challenge. You know, I constantly use the example that a kid that starts uh, elementary school today will graduate in 20, from high school in 2032 and from university if we still have four-year university curricula then in 2036. But what sorts of skills are we giving our younger kids um, today to prepare for that world? So this is a, a difficult question. What is certain is that the EU has a lot of funding available for these types of programs. But then we also need to convince people that uh, it's in their interest to get this type of, um, uh, of training. It's not just us um, offering, let's say, an economic incentive for people to retrain. Uh, that may not be enough on its own if people don't understand that, it, that you, the, the concept of getting an education, getting a job, and getting a pension may no longer, it is probably uh, already uh, being, uh, it's, it's probably already uh, obsolete. So we learn uh, all the time, we'll change jobs uh, probably more frequently. Um, uh, you know, we've raised our retirement age. Uh, one good thing with the crisis in Greece is that we have already made difficult reforms that other European countries haven't even, you know, contemplated um, uh, yet. Uh, and 